Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enter the Gungeon. This is the one, dude. Maybe. Hold on. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 finished downloading. If you're wondering, why didn't my PS4 just make a sound? It didn't. That was my PS4, okay? And I'm looking at a gold dragon with its tongue sticking out right now. Now. What do we want to do on this run? I don't even want to... It's much like the bullets passed. Um, we have made a lot of mistakes. Like Sufjan Stevens said in the song Chicago off of the 2005 album Come On Feel the Illinois. Hey Sufjan! Where's your North Dakota album, buddy? What on earth am I talking about? It's been a silly start. Um, we haven't done well trying to fight the rat however we now we've learned two things on the third floor do not use any blanks which is probably not I mean the most strategically nuanced approach however it's just the the only way that I feel like I can be sure that I have enough of a setup to to be contented to you know have a chance at, at getting into the rat floor and then also on top of that we need to- I'm just gonna look up the maze, um, when I go down to the rat floor. Uh, I think it would be ignorant of me to be like, I'll just solve it myself, I don't wanna look it up. You know, I- I don't think that's realistic. You know, I- I- I derived no pleasure from coming up with a, a unique solution to this problem. You know, honestly, I think, uh, I think learning some programming changed me, and I mean this in the best way possible, I think it made me smarter. Why would I reinvent the wheel and try to come up with my own solution to something that, it, it, for me, has no, you know, implicit benefit? Yo, okay, I'll take it. No, I won't take it. Portable table? Dude, come on. I'd rather have the molly. Um, when I could just take somebody else's solution and uh, then use that to create my own uh, product. I know that, you know, depending on the industry in which you work, that might seem ridiculous, but that's kind of like the spirit of, uh, of programming. At least if you can get stuff that's, you know, open source, you get the general idea. We don't really need to get into it. It was just like a metaphor. Um, I, it, dude, honestly, 88 uh, casings is ridiculous for floor one. We must have gotten some kind of, uh, like, a, a couple of silver casings, maybe even a gold. I don't really notice the casings as they come in. That's, uh, that'll come with more time invested in the game, I think. But anyway, yeah, should we have the fortune to make it to uh, the rat floor, I will look up the solution. That is assuming it was even uh, just going the wrong direction in the maze that screwed us to begin with. I don't know what you are. Riddle of lead. This you can trust. A relic of the first hero bestows on reasonable courage in the face of danger and the luck to survive it. I have no idea. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, shoulders of giants, riddle of gun, gungeon, riddle of lead. That's what it's called, gungeon. God, Google smart. Grants a heart container, fully heals the player, increases damage by twenty five percent, increases speed by ten percent, increases dodge roll speed by fifteen percent, and when at one heart or less, adds a fifty percent chance to negate damage. Um. So it's it's kind of like a little magic mush style. Give me this key, please. That's insane. Yo, it's a Tetris gun. <laughs> I have no idea how this works, but I'm a hope. Oh, oh, he he was coming at us with the with the Z piece. It's, it's like an all stats upgrade. Maybe not to the same magnitude that you would get from like a, a standard speed upgrade, but I mean, obviously you, you probably don't need me to tell you this is like real good. It seems real good at least. 
So I don't need to use the Molotov. In fact, it would benefit me not to even waste my time thinking about it. Because this guy is flying. It is annoying that I couldn't deflect his molly, but dude, this is a pretty amazing story. No keys. I know this gun. The M1. Ah. Dude, doesn't the M1 has a synergy where if you like spin around, it might not even be a synergy. It might just be like literally the way the gun works. If you do like a 360 before you shoot, it does double damage or something. That's hilarious. Um, so uh, we're headed down to the next floor. We have five HP, a boosted damage stat, uh, a gun that I mean that the the Tetris gun that doesn't really seem like a 10 out of 10 boss killer, but it seems fine. You know, it, here's my rule of thumb that I hadn't thought about until this exact moment, so it's probably not necessarily fair to call it a rule of thumb, but, um, you know, if it's good enough for the first boss without complaining, it's probably good enough for the second boss. After that, who knows, but, like, you know, I don't want to get a reputation for being the ultimate complainer in Gungeon. There's only a couple of things that I'll become very indignant about in this game. One of them is not getting enough ammunition to use cool guns. Which happens uh, increasingly rarely ever since the updates. Those of you who are maybe Johnny come lately to the Gungeon Cinematic Universe, there, there was a period in this game, and the game has never been anything less than great. Let me be clear on that one. But uh, there was a period where you would get a cool gun, shoot it, and then never get any more ammo for it routinely. Uh, so what's the minimum cost for the rat key? 115? That's not bad. We can make it happen. But now, um, it, it, it has probably made the game easier, but, you know, I'm not worried about my gamer cred, really. Like, sometimes easier is just better. I mean, you can make a game hard for the right reasons, you can make a game hard for... Uh, the wrong reasons. I think Gungeon has gotten easier for the right reasons. Mostly because it was too hard for me to consistently beat <laughs> on my first go around. Um, so the fact that it's easier to some extent now um, definitely seems like... Oh, I think they got the balance just right. And I'm only a little bit biased based on the fact that... Uh, it's now tailored to my user experience instead of Austin's. Now, but I mean, I do think that's a danger that happens in uh, roguelites sometimes with, like, uh, with balance. You know, you, you have players, and I think we've gone through this in Isaac a little bit, but uh, I say we as if I'm, like, any part of the development process whatsoever. But, um, you know, when you got some people out there that play the crap out of your game, it's very easy to be like, you know, to, to listen to them above other people. And although these people, myself included when it comes to something like Isaac, might know more about the game, that doesn't mean we know what's best, you know? Our uh, criticisms and, and suggested balance changes come from a biased perspective of somebody who's played, you know, thousands and thousands of hours or something. You know, so when I play something like Isaac, I'm like, well, this item should be better, this item should be worse. You know, this item makes it too easy, this si But for a player that maybe is a little bit more representative of the average, like somebody that maybe is only going to put 100 hours into Isaac or something like that, those items are uh, perhaps balanced just right. I am mad, uh, but life goes on. That it's not a hard attack to dodge, which is what bothers me. <laughs> it should be easy enough. Anyway, so I'm trying- Ooh, dude, I love that we're getting these chests here. I forget, Ruby Bracelet- Oh yeah, you can throw your guns. Um, uh, the only thing I will say is that if we bring Ruby Bracelet to the Forge Lady, doesn't she give us something? I don't know. That She's always asking about it. Anyway, I don't even know where the where the run goes after you kill the rat, by the way, if we even manage to get to the rat, much less kill it. So, I don't know if we're going to be going down to the forge. I'm not going to worry about it all that much right now. So, remember, we probably cannot afford to purchase a second key. 
So if we don't get one to drop, just open whatever chest is best. And uh, I would hope that it's uh, a gun. So we have a green and a blue. We'll open the green. It is a gun. It's the Predator. Which we just got. Um, I'm assuming it's a reference to the film Predator. But I do not recall. So while we're here, hold up. You're going to buy this first. We got 23. Just shy of being able to afford uh, another another anything, really. Um, we got the mermaid, who is... Oh, dude, it's definitely a reference, because I see that three-point, like, crosshair or target indicator. That's freaking Predator 101. Now, I have no idea what's going on when we're out of ammo. Maybe we're stealthed. Yeah, it seems like we're stealth. So yet another boss where our Molly is not going to do anything. But I, I only just now got the chance to look. I didn't roll. I, I, I pressed the right mouse button, but I literally just did not pick a direction. Anyway, what I'm noticing is the damage output here is actually fantastic. So I got no complaints whatsoever. We do have enough to buy another key, should we want to, but we also got a key drop. Um, dude, honestly, I think the trash cannon, I, I, I mean, I don't particularly think it's very good. Where are we at? 38? Um, so I'll open this. I hope it's not an active. I hope it's a passive, and it is. Bouncy bullets. Seems like a cool synergy to me. And uh, give me a key as well. And I think we're uh, we're good to go here. I'm going to use the Tetris gun as my room clearer for now. I think the sawed off would also be fine. So what do we need? Most important thing, just get to the rat floor first. Then you look up the solution, if there is a solution, for, for how to not get yourself screwed out of being able to actually do the thing you've been planning on doing. You know what? More power to you. I got, I got extremely mind flooded by this room and, and got hit twice. Y'all are not dying at the speed that I feel you should be dying. Like the line piece is actually like a bomb. <laughs> Maybe the Tetris gun is a uh, is overstayed is welcome already. Yo no 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 no. I hate you, dude. Stop. How are you so smart? I'm bad. I'm just bad. Hold on. The, for whatever reason the Tetris gun is breaking my brain. I don't really want to use budget revolver. Let's roll sawed off for a minute here. The range on the sawed off. Not strong. That's okay. Guan stone. You know, I actually feel like I'm content to fight the boss early. Just remember, you can't use blanks. No blanks allowed. So we're probably going to take damage here. And I wouldn't let it get you down. If you take damage, it really does not matter. Hold on, I'm going to shut up for a second. because I Some of these attacks, I just literally don't know how to dodge. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I just haven't fought this guy enough for it to be second nature yet. Dude, I love the stealth is really protecting us from the mines, I think. This didn't go too badly so far. I can live with it. Didn't expect to flawless this guy. Sniper, rifle. Now don't leave, of course. Need to find the rat room. Actually, with armor, we can use a blank now. Or we can use our armor as a blank. But, <clears throat> I mean, that's just academic. Like... I don't think that's the best use of, of HP 
right now. But uh, you could definitely envision a situation where the best thing to do would be to use your uh, blank on the boss fight then you, so you could get the flawless, then use your armor um, as the blank. Or alternatively, you know, I don't know, maybe you want to use a blank to find a secret room. I don't really know even, you know, semi-intermediate gungeon strategy. My gungeon strategy is still just like get guns and uh, right-click when a red dot is in your purview. So I do, I, I, like, this floor feels like a turning point for me, in a bad way right now, but, it, it, you know, that's the thing about a turn. It could be, could be good, could be bad. So we st there's a chance to reverse it, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like I don't know what gun to use for room clearing. Now, I, I gotta recognize some innate bias and inefficiency. Probably should consider at least trying the M1. As a room clearer, you want keys. I don't know. Full stop. Let's go... I, I want to open the chests on this floor. Or use our key to buy something. Very good. Dude, huge. Um, we'll take predator ammo. I actually feel like the M1 is very powerful. Which means, perhaps, it should not be a room clearer right now, but uh, as long as we get ammo... Oh, that was not good. It's doing pretty well with bouncy bullets, too. As long as we get ammo, um, seems like a pretty effective tool for us right now. I don't know. I'm not going to sweat it. So this is... Rat room. Now you don't have to use a blank to clear the space here to see where the where the thing is. I think you can just walk over it. Let's just get these things to bust. Or even like use the trash cannon. Sorry, dude. The trash cannon, like... I thought, like, water might clear out wherever the freaking gap is. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, like, use... A blank here. Have I lost... Oh, there it is. There it is. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Dude, I think we should go. And I know that you're like, why would you leave right now? Well, because we need to use our armor at the present moment. As a blank. Or we could buy a blank for 28, which is actually pretty cheap. Um, I know Baby Good Mimic is like a, uh, it's a familiar... And it's cute as a button. So you know what? Why not? So here's what I'm going to save our money for now. I'm going to use the rat key. That's not the rat key. That requires an actual key. Dude, I swear to you. I First off, I apologize for uh, Mr. Dumbbrain, which is my nickname for myself. But simultaneously, like... Why does it require so many resources to get to the secret floor? I beg you! Alright, so we should use our armor to find the first part of the secret room. Because there's a pit here that's easy to fall into. Instead of, like, having to burn ourselves with the molly or something like that. Well, we almost screwed it up just by picking up a, a familiar of... Almost no use, probably. But we didn't. That's the important thing. Okay. Before we go down. How to do rat floor gungeon. Okay. Spoilers. Detailed explanation of how to reach the new secret area. The maze. 
You have to know the right way to get to the end. You need the help of the rat. There's a total of six notes. Once you're in the starting room of the maze, open your Ammonomicon, go to the items tab, scroll all the way down, and look at the cheese on the six notes. The order in which you have to read the notes is from left to right and top to bottom. Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with that style. So you're going to start with the direction on the top left note, and the last direction will be the one on the bottom right note. Go these directions in the maze. Most rooms have enemies in them, and don't forget which note to read next. What? Okay. Well, it's it's honestly, it's easy. I don't know why I was complaining about it. Um, but it's the internet, right? You got like a cool secret thing in games, and then people are like, oh, cool secret thing. Why isn't it easy? You know, I get it. I'm, I'm part of the problem here. Ammonomicon. Items. Find the passive-aggressive notes. <laughs> up. Up. I don't even know. I'm assuming. I don't. What direction is this, dude? Is that right? <laughs> up, up, right, up, right, up. All right. But first, we got to go down the the hole. Okay. So we start up, up, right. That's easy enough. So we'll start up. I gotta keep it in mind. The rhyme I designed to explain in due time. I, I I lost the other dude. That's on me. Hold on. What, what gun do we want ammo for? You know what? Let's take it for the M1. Up, up, right. Up, up, right. So this is... The next room is right. Shouldn't have let the skeleton live, dude. Thank you. How strong are these jammed enemies, dude? Okay, so if it's not right, the room will reset. Up, up, right. Up, up, right. Up, up, right, up. Okay. Up. Change guns. Not to this one. Not to this one either, I think, though. Not to this one either, dude. Stop. All, all that to save ammo. I, I hate you. He, he, they're just getting in my way. Okay, I mean, it's my bad. Absolutely no way to deny that, but... Right? Okay. I think we're still going strong here. And then up is the final, the final move. Yo, we, we're definitely here. We have, like, full ammo for basically everything. If you navigate the maze correctly, going up will bring you to the boss room of the resourceful rat. Yikes, dude. Okay. So the predator has been pretty good for us. Let's see what we can accomplish here. This is a landmark moment just to even be here, to be honest with you. Again, I've I've seen these uh, I've seen these attacks <laughs> on other people's streams, but I've never lived them for myself. I really thought we could just get out of the way of that one. Ooh. You son of a gun. Okay, phase one complete. Now he becomes a mech.
terrifying. Do max burn? Apparently not. Okay, just simple laser beams. I was gonna say I'm unconcerned. They do create fire, though. You know what? You're doing great, sweetheart. Keep it up. Yikes. Sometimes, you ever feel like you're just better off on your sight read than on other attempts? Like... Sometimes I just feel like there's a... Oh, that was so fast. A, like a little adrenaline pumping or something. This is definitely a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time reference. That's a huge blank. You stay away from me, okay? Dude, we're gonna make it through the fight at least. Nothing but respect for my predator. Okay. But what happens now? <laughs> okay. It's a tutorial for the punch out mode. Let's do it. I played a lot of punch out in my day, dude. This part, no problem, but I know that two minutes is not a long time to deal with this guy. Oh, that's you gotta you gotta get him there. Okay, okay, what's what's happening now? Oh, you got me pretty good. That's probably a block. Yep, that's probably a block, for example. Oh, that's good. That was a super. Uh, that's probably... We gotta get him with something, man. Oh! I think that's a duck. Alright, he got me. He got me. But I think, you know, that was an okay fight. For our first attempt. Especially considering I had no idea what was coming. What does admit one do again? Hold on. Summons Gatling Gull as an ally? Dude, that sounds hilarious. Nothing without your guns, are you, jumpsuit? Okay, well. Dude, we got some good items. I don't even remember what the heck you do. I know you come down here, so you get some... I mean, these are... This is an incredible assortment of resources. Yeah, because we have key, we have one rat key, so we can open one of these. Let's go top right, by the way. What do you got for me? Rat boots. Grants temporary invulnerability and flight when the wearer walks over a pit. Eh. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I don't know what to do with it. And I... Okay. Hold, hold up. Ah, so you could skip a floor if you use your key here instead? Yeah, that's cool. But isn't there like a, uh, how am I supposed to get the stuff that allows me to feed the... The advanced dragon, or I don't know, man. I don't, I just don't know. <laughs> anyway. Dude, okay, so the run has been a success, and now that we've seen it just one time, I feel so much better. So we're gonna go, uh, and again, I'm trying to keep the positive reinforcement train rolling here. So are we gonna fight the Lich? Probably not. Um, we're gonna focus on the rat for the time being. I didn't get the key? I got the key, okay. So this should be, at this point, a real easy run. Do you think the Gatling Gull is one time use only? I mean, it seems like it would be pretty strong. But simultaneous, great shot. Simultaneously, it doesn't have a times one down there, so. I don't, oh, you son of a gun. I think we should try to use it on the next room just to see. No, it definitely recharges. 
this seems like pretty great. That's cool. Alrighty. Um... So yeah, I mean, I think this was a really good episode, at least for getting us to the point where, uh, you know, I feel semi-comfortable going to the rat floor. At least I've done it one time. You know, it's it's important, you know, it's why, uh, hey, excuse me, PlayStation 4, I know Mortal Kombat is ready to play. One second, where's the shaman at, dude? He's real sneaky. Also, the rat punch-out floor seems very fun. Uh, I'll open. We got four keys, dude. Chamber gun. Product of environment. Ma okay, it synergizes. I mean, I don't know what this gun looks like when it's not synergized, so I have no idea <laughs> whether or not... I mean, is this a... It's, it's like the, the Bullet King's weapon or something like that, so... It makes sense, I guess, that it synergizes with the master round from floor one. I don't know. Let's be honest. I'm pretty much making it up as I go. Anyway. Uh, it's been a good run. Yeah, what I was going to say is that, you know, you never really expect to knock something out the first time. But because you've done it once, now I can, now I can sort of feel at least a little bit more confident. You know, I know how, it's no longer like, will we even be able to get down to the floor? Now it's more about like, do we have the skills necessary to actually beat the punch out stage? And dude, I gotta tell you, is it a pain in the butt to get to the rat stage? Yes, but unlike the oubliette, at least if you beat the rat, which admittedly might be a big if, we have a pretty amazing run. And you know, still got bodied a little, but it's also my first time. Your safety is not guaranteed. Um, at least it pays back its resources, is what I was gonna say. I know I'm the... I'm the only dude disrespecting the oubliette, but... That's because I'm the only dude who's telling the truth. It's as simple as that. Until I hear otherwise, the oubliette... Is an unpaid internship. Where you have to bring your own lunch every day. At least let me eat from the cafeteria, is all I'm trying to say, you know? I'm giving you my labor for free, and I'm expected to bring my own sandwiches as well. Meanwhile, the salaried employees are getting, you know, kale salads and chickpeas. Come on, man. I need those phytonutrients so I can be the best I can be for you. So, I don't think the chamber is really that good. Let's keep in mind, we got it from a blue chest, so that should have been pretty self-explanatory. Okay, pea shooter... Go ahead. This is, it might as well be called free item. Or sometimes item that'll cost you a little bit of HP. I wouldn't summon the Gatling Gold. It's, that seems like cheating. They'll, they'll suss us out. What the heck is this? The Cruller... Cruller Glaive. Interesting. Um, I, have, I have no idea. Let's be honest. No clue whatsoever. I would summon the Gatling Gull. Dude, I will never disrespect the Gatling Gull ever again now. Not, I mean, as a boss, I will disrespect him. Back gun. We shoot a shot out of our back now. Um, but I will never disrespect Admit 1. This seems like a pretty decent passive. Although, I guarantee I'm going to use it on the boss and then be like, I can't tell whose shots are who. But for raw damage output, it seems pretty strong. I gotta say, too, you know, I, I'm eager to do more of the punch out because I think that's actually like where my skills in games lie. <laughs> I, I grew up playing a lot of super punch out, you know, I got a 13 second KO on Piston Hurricane. 
Not saying we're going to get it second try. Not saying we're going to get it tenth try. But if there's ever a game that I could possibly have even a minor chance to excel at, maybe this is it. All right. It is... Uh, I, I, I don't expect to lethal this guy, just to be clear. Or uh, to flawless this guy. That was bad positioning, but that's what the blanks are there for, I suppose. I'm loving the double uh, hits thanks to back gun as well. Excuse me, sir. Please leave. Keep it up, sweetie. You're doing great. Okay, don't be afraid to use blanks here. It's looking surprisingly good. Ah! <laughs> Straight up. The exact thing I predicted would happen, happened. I, I was watching this and I was like, dude, I don't know what the heck is happening. There are too many dots on the screen. So the, uh, the blooper is pretty good. I don't know if we're going to use it, but... I mean, we're out of M1 ammo, so yeah, sure, maybe. Ah, another boss. Okay, I remember you. Because I fought you, I don't know, 400 times so far. Still plenty of Predator ammo. I do admit, by the way, you know, I complained about our last two runs. Maybe a little bit more than is becoming. Of somebody who's uh, still in the learning phase of playing the game instead of somebody who should be jaded. But uh, this run is like the exact opposite. We are un believably strong mostly thanks to the predator which is getting dissed by the editor I don't know if you guys listen to Ice Cube you should check him out sometimes he's a cool guy so we're just heading down to the next floor um, we have seven M1 bullets and remember we're just trying to beat the forge that's like could we fight the lich sure but at some point, there's uh, 20 optional floors here. I think we got to pick our battles. I'm not going to... Yeah, I know at this point, you're like, I don't care what you do. Just uh, stop talking about it literally every episode. That's an extremely fair and specific criticism, so I appreciate it a great deal. Okay. We need... You know, I'll try using the sniper rifle. I think it's a worse M1. But for all I know, it could actually be... Oh, why are we rolling, dude? Could actually be a better M1. Back bullets plus bouncy bullets seems like a synergy that is unlisted in the game. It's just like a synergy where you just open your eyes and you're like, okay, I get it. It's great. Doesn't have the up arrow, but you know, your bullets that shoot off your back bounce. Yikes. Why am I trying to roll over pits again? I mean, maybe it's a good habit to not break. By the way, we have Ruby Bracelet, right? So we should go to the Forge, even if we see the Dragon. And be like, hey, we got the Ruby Bracelet. And I don't know, she'll be like, well, if you take this down to the Rat Floor and walk in a clockwise, counterclockwise, east northeasterly direction, then, uh... The world's your oyster. Dude, I was sleeping. The Sniper Rifle is legit. At least with the combination of items we got going on. This is a great run. Should not be saving the Gatling, though. The fact that you can reuse this makes this... Uh, a, a very useful tool in any Gungeoneer's arsenal. Yo, yo, shoot the skeleton, dude! Extremely internet meme lord voice. You had one job, dude! Finally. Took you long enough. Dude, what is going- the mimic has lost his mind! He's mad. And honestly, I don't think he's going to take it anymore. 
You guys ever seen Network? Me neither, but I know it's a landmark film from 1977, so... I, uh, I like to quote it, because people might think I actually have good taste, instead of, uh, you know, the probably... 10 of the last 15 movies I've watched have actually been Marvel movies I've already seen before. But it's okay, I like the lobster a lot, so... There's still hope for me yet. Oh, you haven't seen the, the Lobster? It's the new Marvel film. About a man who's also a lobster. Yeah, just roll right into it. Whatever. We're on full HP, men some. Ooh, fire bullets? Hot lead. Hot lead in that little smile. You know this song. It's not called Hot Lead, I'll tell you that. It's, with, it's Black Velvet, that's it. Black Velvet. Stay for a while. Yo, don't make me a target, brother. You are in the pit. What are you doing there? Forge lady, I have brought you the ruby bracelet. It's sure it's worthless anyway. The thing is, I made it, I hate it, it reminds me of failure. I'm gonna fix it, make it better. Gunk. 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 Okay, it's better. Different, at least. Here you go. I never want to see it again. What? He's done it? Keep moving without dodge rolling or being hit to generate a kinetic aura which can be unleashed by dodge rolling into enemies. Okay, um, sure. I'll get right on that, because, you know, I have my PhD in Gungeoneering. Alright, well, I don't know. Here, We're going to win. Um, will we win... Without dodge rolling? I wouldn't bet on it. I'm also not that intent on dodge rolling into the dragon, but... Dude, the Gatling Gull is an incredible creature. Look at that barricade he's putting up for us. Goodbye. Oh, he's still living, dude! He's so good! Why have I not been buying this item at all times? I blame the devs, as I always do, for making the item look like a ticket. When really what it should say is a ticket redeemable for one free victory easily. So I'm going to actually try the glaive. Uh, because it seems like it has a short range of attack. Which could be good against the heart, Osborne. It's, it, it does not seem like my ideal choice right now. This is a good Gungeon run, though. I'm leaving this run feeling fantastic. Got to the Rad Floor, defeated the first two phases, unlocked some new items, brought the Ruby Bracelet down here. Shoot again, shoot again. You got... I knew you had one more in you, kid. All right. Um... Still got the predator indicator on the enemy as well. Not that. Oh, this. <laughs> Why do they program bugs into their game? I just don't understand, dude. Easy wins. Great run. I'm a happy man. And I think that this is a big morale booster moving forwards. Feels like a solid run. To finish a run with five keys is great in and of itself. We, we got... Oh, dude, is that a kinetic energy thing from the ruby bracelet? I guess maybe it doesn't work specifically on the boss fight. Anyway. Great work, team. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, well, let's look at the stats here at the end regardless. Just give me a moment to do my post-gungeon stretch. You all know how it is. It's, you know, the roguelite magic, where you get to the, you've started to chisel away at the sculpture of your next progress. We're there right now. Very exciting news. We know what needs to be done. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. You did click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. See ya!